Hello friends, I am Pradeep Yadav again and today in this video I will discuss about uh, memory segmentation in 8086 microprocessor and this is very important property of 8086 microprocessor that you know that differentiate uh, 8086 from 8085 microprocessor because when you are going to compare between 8085 microprocessor and 8086 microprocessor so one of the uh, property is that 8086 support memory segmentation where whereas 8085 does not support memory segmentation. So, in this video I will discuss what is memory segmentation and what is rules to decide memory segmentation, what is advantage of memory segmentation and also types of memory segmentation and also I will take some uh, practical examples so you can easily understand what is memory segmentation. So, uh, definition is that uh, segmentation is a process in which the main memory of the computer is logically divided into different segment and each segment has its own base address. Okay. So, uh, just take example of your system, your laptop, whatever you are using. Okay. What happen? You divide your memory or your hard disk in different different drive. Means you make C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, and G drive, and so on. Okay. Why you make uh, multiple number drive? Because you want to store music in one drive. You want to store document. You want to store some specific data in a, a different drive. So that's why you create multiple means basically you divide your memory in different different part so that is also segmentation segmentation is a process to divide your main memory into different segments segments means in different drive in practical uh, example you can say means what happens suppose uh, your uh, system has capacity of 500 gb and you have created five segment or five drive each drive contain 100 gb you equally divide also is the pen suppose you make a drive of 300 gb and other of 50 gb is totally the pen upon you you can uh, decide ke how much space you have to give a particular drive so basically to dividing your memory in different different part that is called segment that part is uh, called segment and the process is called segmentation. So, segmentation is a process to divide your main memory of computer in different segment. Okay. And if this segment has its own base address, so in a uh, practical example you can say ki drive G is a particular address, E is a particular address, D is a particular address because suppose uh, someone is accessing your computer and he want to download and want to save your file. So, maybe you can tell them ki please store that document in others. Others is a basically address. You are telling that person ki store your document in others because you have created a drive to storing others document and others is your address. You can say ki please drive your document in D means D represent that address. So, here segmentation is a process in which the main memory of the computer is logically divided into different segment and each segment has its own base address. And it is basically used to enhance the speed of education of computer system so that the processor is able to fetch and execute the data from the memory easily and fast. Okay. Question is that ki how it can enhance the speed of execution of a computer system? Definitely it enhance. Just uh, let me take an example. Suppose in your computer you have make only one drive that is D and all the information, data, movies, music you are storing in same drive. Okay. Uh, now, suppose it contained near about 5000 data. Okay. Assume. Now, you have to find a data. So, what you have to do? You have to search your data within this 5000 document 
and definitely it is going to take time okay this is first example now second example you have created five drive or six drive okay you have created and you have given a logical uh, duty to each and every drive means here you are going to store document here you are going to store music here you are going to store movie uh, here you are going to you know store others here you are going to assignment okay and suppose in each every uh, drive you are storing corresponding data okay and suppose suppose it says ki please uh, search this movie then what happen in that case you will not search in this you will not search in this you will not go through this you will not go through this only what happen in that case you will access this drive means this is going to reduce your time here you are searching your document within the 5000 but here you are searching in a single drive and maybe that capacity of 100 documents so you can compare ke how much time this is saving so segmentation is required why because segmentation save your time that's why people create multiple drive in their computer system so easily can they save your data easily can they assess the data uh, you can take example of my computer i have created five no five drive why in one drive i am storing something in one drive i am storing something and whatever i want to access i search in particular drive except searching in all drive so this is also very much uh, importance of uh, memory segmentation in 8086 microprocessor and you know 8086 had 20 bits address bus thus uh, it can be address of 1 megabyte memory but uh, as you know 8086 has 16 bit register which can hold only 16 bit address so you know to avoid all the confusion and situation basically what happened 1 megabyte uh, memory uh, divided in 16 segment and each segment containing 64 uh, kb means what happened basically 1 mb it divided in 16 segment okay and each segment containing 64 kb okay and but in this case uh, only four segment are uh, accessible by 8086 at type and these segments are uh, code segment so code segment uh, stack segment data segment and extra segment so these are four segment which is accessible in 8086 microprocessor at a time so now uh, talk uh, function of each segment register so firstly we are going to discuss about code segment register sometime it is called csr the code segment of program memory has all the code instruction because this segment of for register generally used to hold all the information related to code and instructions okay and it's also stored the base address of the code segment when we are talking about data segment register dsr the data segment contains the data of the program and hold the base address of the data segment stack segment whatever information that is related to return you know subroutine program stack position pop that is basically hold uh, in this segment of register that is called stack segment register and the value of stack segment register added to an offset value to assess any location within that segment and extra segment the extra segment register provide additional storage ES register hold the base address of extra segment so this is same as uh, in practically we divide our uh, drive in different different part okay so here this is a pictorial diagram of memory segmentation how you can divide or uh, one megabyte memory in different different segment just i am taking example here so in this picture you can see this is uh, you know one megabyte memory and this is lowest address that is 
you know 0 0 0 0 0 5 times 0 and this is highest address here you can see 5 times f and this is one segment this is one segment and this is one segment this is one segment you can see here and this is 64 kb uh, address is this address is this this is for sec, uh, segment segment so basically uh, this is divided in 16 segment and each segment containing 64 kb and here four segment is represent as extra segment is text segment code segment and data segment is containing 64 kb here you can see and this represent starting address of that segment and this is represent ending address of the segment so here you can see 2000 is starting address and 2 4 time f is uh, you know uh, top of that data segment here you can see 3000 is a bottom of data segment and 3 4 times f is top segment of that uh, code segment. Okay. So, this is basically division and by this example you can easily understand ke how 1 megabyte uh, is going to divide in different different part. Okay. Uh, also by this table you can see. Okay. So, also here only 4 segment kind of active at a time in 806 microprocessor. So, here this is just reverse, reverse means the same diagram, okay. only representation is different and also again we have represented. So, and also uh, this is not necessary ki every you know, segment should be consecutive, suppose uh, you have decided this is stack segments, here you have decided data and extra segment, here you have decided code segment, it totally depend. Uh, because user, why I am saying user? Because whenever you are talking about practically, it is totally depend upon you ki how you are going to create drive in your computer system. It is not necessary that if you are going to divide equally, you are going to divide you know by a good nomenclature as C, D, E, F. This is not necessary. Whatever you want to take, uh, put your name, you can do. And so, here also whatever address range you want to select for your segment, you can do this. Here you can see from 000 and to uh, uh, you know uh, 0 FFF that is for code segment for here 5000 uh, and you know 6 FFF for uh, data F segment. So, this is possible. Okay. So, here also you see code segment. Okay. Now, Segment register hold upper 16 bit of 20 bits attaching address of segment. Means here, what uh, we are uh, meaning of this is C is a segment register hold upper 16 bit of 20 bits addressing of segment. Means suppose uh, this is uh, starting address of any segment. Okay. So what happen? Segment will segment register will hold this. Okay, suppose from this from this code segment is started, so your CSR will hold this. Okay, so we can take any value of starting address of segment, but it must be divisible by 16 and lowest four bit must be zero. So, whenever you are going to take a starting address, the condition is that ki that address should be divided by 16 and lowest 4 bit should be 0. Means, whatever <coughs> you are going to take, your 4 lowest bit should be 0. Means, just I am taking example, this is also possible. Condition is that ki this should be divided by 16 and this should be 0. Suppose you have taken the starting address as like this, this is also possible because 0 satisfying only this should be also division by 16. So, that is possible. So, starting address it is on you. You can choose any address as a starting address only what you have to follow condition that 16 bits should be divided by 16 and lower four lowest bits would be zero. Now types and rule of memory segmentation. So there are two type of memory segmentation. One is uh, overlapping segment, and second is non-overlapping. 
lagging uh, non overlapping segment so a segment is start at a particular address and its maximum size can go up to 64 kb but if another segment is start uh, along this uh, location then two are set to be overlapping segment so uh, just let me diagram a picture uh, suppose uh, this is you know uh, your code segment okay and definitely this will of uh, 164 kb there is no any doubt and now suppose your data segment is just start from here so basically this is called overlapping segment non overlapping segment a segment is start at a particular address and its maximum size can go up to 64 kb so uh, but if another segment is start before this 64 location of the first segment then two segments are said to be non overlap segment so basically what we have discuss here this is example of uh, a non overlapping segment because here you can see no segment is overlapping to each other okay so now talking about rule so already we have discuss two rule one rule uh, you know uh the starting address of said segment uh should be such that it can be evenly divided by 16 and second minimum size of seg uh, segment can be 16 byte and the maximum can be 64 kb and i think third rule that the lowest four bits should be zero okay i will add uh, uh, this third point also after you know in this video <coughs> now so these are uh, some types and rules uh, uh, rules and now talking about uh, advantage of memory segmentation so i hope you have easily understand what is uh, memory segment so i will discuss about advantage then i will end up this video so here uh, uh, this is uh, uh, you know uh, your table and just remember this table because when you are going to calculate physical address in red unit 6 uh, microprocessor it is going to help you okay so cs offset register ds uh, segment and uh, corresponding of this offset register so stack segment so corresponding you know offset register es so these are okay now talking about advantages so there are many advantage of memory segmentation uh, allow the placing of code data and stack of same program in different parts as we know because in here we are uh, storing coding different segment data in segment and stack in different segments it provide a powerful memory management mechanism we are there is no doubt because this is process of memory management ki how you are managing your memory or uh, data related or stack related operation can be perform in different segment code related operation can be perform in different segment it allows to process to easily share data it allows to extend the addressability of the processor segmentation allows the use of 16 bit register to give an addressing capability of 1 megabyte yes without no doubt you can say this is possible due to memory segmentation and it is possible to enhance the memory size of code data or stack segment so so this is basically some advantage of uh, memory segmentation so let me you know uh, uh, just uh, quickly recap uh, recap the topic so segmentation you know as the process to divide main memory in different segment and it is generally used to enhance the performance of computer and we have four segment for different different purpose and here this is picture how memory segmentation works and uh, we have uh, some rules these are two types overlapping segment and non overlapping and these are some rules ki how you uh, segmentation is possible and this is our advantage of memory segmentation so hope you understand my point so so thank you for watching this thank you